Namaste beautiful yogis, welcome to Ali Kamenova Yoga, I'm Ali and today we're doing one of my favorite signs, I have a um, secret love for this sign and it's Cancer, the sign of Cancer. You can look at your chart and you can look at your rising sign, you can look at your sun sign, you can look at your north node and you can look in general what do you have in cancer also you can look at your uh, neptune alignment and see where that cancerian energy of divine love is expressed in the chart and how you can access it in which areas of life you can access it cancer you can do this on your period this class because it's all about water and the emotion and the feminine and the mothering and the womb. You can also do this class during full moon or moon in Cancer. So many, many ways to apply the classes. Um, and you can do it just when you're moving through the classes and you just want to feel the energy of Cancer. It is the energy of the feminine, the nurturing, the emotional intelligence and the emotion in general on a more physical level. Cancer is the place where the soul incarnates in the physical, in evolutionary terms or in terms of how the soul moves through the signs. Here we fully come into the physical and we build a house. The foundation has to be light, the foundation of light. And when we look at soul astrology or uh, the higher expressions of astrology we're no longer concerned so much with the personality which is the lower levels of astrology now we look at the soul expression or the soul purpose through the lens of astrology so the higher expression of cancer or the higher ruler of cancer is neptune whereas the lower lower ruler is uh, the moon and neptune is the divine love and the collective emotion and consciousness to where the moon is the emotional body the emotions so cancers can pick up people's emotions they themselves are emotional but when they tune into their soul's purpose they will understand how to um, to feel the emotion of humanity and tap into that divine consciousness and profound love uh, it's also said it's uh, like Krishna or Christ consciousness so true love can be expressed here uh, when we tap into the soul purpose of cancer rather than the um, lower expression of cancer uh, cancer as I mentioned rules the womb and rules the breast so the mothering the nurturing energy it's really all about if you think about cancer even if you just think about nurturing mothering of on each and every level not just the mother uh, but the universal mother as we first incarnate into the body as a soul this is coming into the physical we establish connection to the earth as the mother and that's why cancers are so concerned or sending cancer with the home establishing that basis and laying that foundation and when you lay the foundation as i mentioned of love it becomes it becomes the fabric of the soul incarnated into the physical so the fabric becomes that light or love woven into the physical as they are indeed one the physical and the spiritual so i'm trying to really really express in um in fluid terms the the feeling of cancer on a more mundane level cancer is um, they're emotional empathetic uh, empathic um, um, they uh, are protective uh, they're clingy that is a little more of a negative term but they can be they can attach easily that is on the more mundane level but those qualities can be used and taken into the neptune expression so you become caring you, you instead of feeling your own emotions or the emotions of your environment you start to feel the universal consciousness and emotion and that sea of consciousness that neptune rules neptune rules the sea of consciousness the entire sea of consciousness where the moon the lower ruler filters that consciousness so with our physical brains we can 
uh, process it and understand it as we probably, most of us probably can't understand the universal consciousness, just crystal clear. And yes, as I mentioned, you can also look at the Neptune position in your chart by uh, house and just Google that if you don't know where to start from, you can say Neptune in eighth house and see how that looks. But we're gonna work on that. We're gonna work on that profound mothering, nurturing energy connection to the earth, to the emotion and to the universal love. So let's begin and let's flow with strength and ease. Starting at the front of the mat, roll the shoulders back, open the palms of the hands forward, pull the lower belly in and really feel that connection, feel that elongation, feel the breath, feel the connection to the earth, feel the breath as the bridge that connects the emotion to the universal consciousness and here one thing I wanted to express is that oftentimes we think that being very emotional is really good but we're speaking levels of emotionality when we're in the lower expressions of emotion we have emotional thoughts when we get angry pissed off at someone um, those all can be labeled emotion but they're more of an expression of a thought or even a thinking pattern to where when we get into the higher spheres we become intuitive rather than emotional so we become neutral things don't come at us and shake us up and influence us and take us out of our um, center and um, influence our actions decisions and thoughts we become so centered truth centered and we can radiate that into the world we become intuitive so communication becomes on higher level rather than just all this fleeting emotion so that also is going to be part of us meditating on our center on our neutrality on releasing emotion the lower aspects of emotion so that we can really bring it up into the intuitive center into the feeling into the connecting to universal love centers it's such a deep concept that I <laughs> I'm slightly fearful of not expressing it right, which is um, beautiful. I never feel <laughs> fear and cancer is the sign that rules fear because as we incarnate into the physical, we attach to soul clusters and then in Leo we become individualized. So we remove ourselves from the clusters that creates fear. So it's really good that I actually said that word and felt it because I never feel fear, so now I'm totally tapped into the cancer, lower, higher, everything. <laughs> and in cancer, when we contemplate those things, we can learn to surrender, release fear, and, and attach to the universal love, but not in a clingy way, but in a weaving our consciousness, connecting, elevating way, and releasing the earthly fears. And let's smile and let's bring the hands over the breasts or um, chest for males and over the womb or the belly for males this class is uh, good for male and female even though it is truly the mother the feminine but we can all tap into all aspects of life the hands over the head lift and reach and exhale dive forward and inhale look ahead of you halfway up and let's take the left leg back bring the knee back and reach up in crescent 
exhale the hands down step it to the front inhale look ahead of you and take the right leg back crescent and exhale down step it to the front, the front halfway up big breath in sweeping up exhale and again inhale reach really feel the belly exhale dive down inhale look ahead hands on the floor take the left leg back step it back in crescent reach up lift lengthen exhale down step it to the front halfway up pull the belly in straighten the back take the other one lift and exhale to the front halfway up and inhale sweep all the way up and arch and exhale here and as you feel softness in your body also feel strength because cancer only seemingly appears to be a soft and gentle sign but it is a cardinal sign so there is an intense strength within cancerian people reaching and exhale diving and inhale look ahead and hands on the ground take the left leg back and reach up crescent here we're going to turn the arms to the right and twist and reach back up and exhale to the front halfway up Step the right leg back, lengthen and reach and lift and lengthen. Twisting here, this is a very gentle twist. And reaching up and exhale the hands down and step it through. Halfway up and as you inhale, sweep up. Exhale, hands over the heart. Let's keep going. Inhale, lift. Exhale, straight back, down. Inhale, look up. Step it back, reach. And twist and reach. Step it back, lift, open, twist, reach, and exhale, step it through, forward fold, halfway up, as you inhale, sweeping up, exhale, hands over the heart, close your eyes and again connect your breath. You can visually see how the breath as a string connects the soul to the physical. With that connection, we're able to integrate those higher qualities of the soul into the personality. Inhale reach and exhale dive inhale halfway up and here you're going to bend your knees and take chair take the left leg back and reach up open the arms out twist and bring the left arm up twist As you bring 
energy into the fingertips you're gonna feel that deep stretch into the hip flexor obliques IT bend hips and reach to the front exhale into plank and step the other leg through and come up and open and twist and reach and put a lot of consciousness intention into your fingertips lift and lengthen the fingertips are active and energized and lift up plank Press into your heels. Step the right foot through. Drop the back knee again down. Crescent. Exhale the hands behind. Interlacing the fingers. Open the chest. Look up. Soften the shoulders. the hands down plank step the left foot or drop the back knee down come up and lengthen and exhale the hands behind you can change the grip open here Soften. Reach back up. Exhale. Plank. Lower down onto your belly. Cobra. Lower down. Open the arms out. Take the right leg up and bring it across scorpion the sister sign <laughs> of cancer and switch sides and just stay slightly or moderately fluid so we're moving from left to right changing right toes to the left hand and opposite side few more great and bring your hands underneath your shoulders press up into plank let's bring the right knee into the chest or between the elbows bring the right foot across and take a, a form of a wild thing or a form of a opening here great from here uh, sit down onto your booty closing the legs bring your hands behind you to the right and bring the forehead down heels down on the ground so we continue with the spine we did a lower back first now this is more towards the upper and come back up and reverse it you can just come back up here great and back into plank the knee tuck right knee tuck step it through and take the right arm up in this twist exhale the hand down plank Let's take the left knee in, squeeze it in, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Bring it across, flip it over, form of a wild thing. Mm -hmm. 
sit down onto the body, closing your legs, this time to the left side. Bring your forehead behind you, and this is really good. Nice rearrangement, rebalancing of the spine. And coming up, you can bend the right knee, step onto the right foot, and come up. And hands on the floor, squeeze your knee in, step it through. Take the left arm up in a twist here. Exhale down, step it at the front chair. And let's bring the hands in prayer. Left elbow on the outside of the right knee. Or open here, drop the shoulders down. Back to center. Opposite side, lengthen. We're getting the spine work. These are not deep, deep, deep twists. They're full. There is length in them. Back to center. We have a fly friend again. <laughs> From here, we're going to bring the left elbow on the outside of the right knee again. This time, we're going to shift the weight onto the right leg and step it back. I'll come up into high lunge. Exhale the hands behind you, interlacing the fingers, open the chest and lower down in humble warrior. The hands pressing away from you. Inhale, coming halfway up. You can bring your hands back up and glide your knee right behind the right heel. We just did this in the ginseng flow. So from here, you're going to come back up, pushing through the right leg and lower back down. Now you can tuck your toes. This will give you, tuck your toes under this will give you a little bit of a push. You don't have to, to really use three, the legs, four, five, it's almost like a, like a one-legged one squat, you're only pushing through that side, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And step it down, chair. Hands in prayer, opposite side to the left. Take the right foot off the floor, step it back, twist here. Ujjayi. And come up. High lunge, exhale behind, you can swap the grip, dominant finger under, open the chest, and lower down, humble warrior. Now the hands are pressing away from you in two directions, towards the floor and towards the ceiling. Two types of away. <laughs> And reach back up. We're going to bring the right knee down and squat back up and lower down. Two, really push through the hip. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 
Woo, 10, step it at the front. Exhale the hands over the heart and again close the eyes for a moment and come back to the breath. And have a awareness sensation of your feet as if they're stepping on a fabric woven out of light. So symbolically we're feeling the foundation rather than it being just the mother, the earth, the community. We are seeing that the foundation is light consciousness, the light itself. Inhale the hands over the head. Exhale, diving down. Inhale, walk ahead of your plank. Bring the right knee in and across and take a wild thing here. Drop the booty down. The heels are about just wider than hip width apart. And we're going to bring the hands one more time behind and get that nice full spinal twist. And come back up, you can bend the left knee and reach back up. Both hands on the floor. Nita can plank. Step it through. High lunge. Here we're going to bring the left knee on the floor right behind on the outside of the right ankle and we'll twist here. Really reach and twist. So the left elbow comes on the outside of the right knee. Drop the shoulders down away from the ears so the head is, neck is spacious. We can do an arm balance here, why not? It's a gentle mellow class, we can throw in something. And back into the twist, feel it. And from here, we're gonna come back to the front and unravel, step onto the right leg, step it back, left leg back, right knee squeezes in, pull, pull, pull. Plank, chaturanga, up dog, chaturanga, plank. We're going to bring the left knee in and across and open while thing. really radiating through the heart and booty on the floor here we're going to have the heels about either hip width or in between wider or or closed in and here heels stay in the right hip comes up and we bring it over to the left surrender feel the spine Coming up, bend the right foot and come up. Ooh. Wild thing. Both hands on the floor and plank knee tuck. Step it through, high lunge. Let's bring the right knee behind the left ankle. Lengthen, right arm, right elbow to left knee twist and look back as you lengthen through the crown of the head. And here we're going to 
either stay here, feel free to stay here, or you can wiggle and bring the, the part above your knee on your triceps. From here, I'll face you. From here, you're going to shift the weight forward and lift the legs in whichever form you want and lower it back down. Now, left knee is up, hands to the right, walk over and around onto the heels and you're gonna end up on the other side. We're gonna stack the knees on top of each other, lean forward, the hip stretch, hip opener, breathe into the hips, hands over to the left, you're gonna walk onto the balls of the feet and not remove them, the feet off the floor, end up on the other side, if you got all the limbs messed up, now right knee is under, left is above, just do each side, we're keeping it fluid and watery as both Moon and Neptune rule water. Moon is the water of emotion and Neptune is the deep ocean of consciousness. Um, the consciousness of the universe. And we're gonna do it one more time. So again, step onto the balls of the feet, heels of the floor, hands to the right, and just walk with the hands around, ending up on this side this time. So right knee over. This time we're going to bring the hands in prayer. Left elbow, right knee on open and lengthen here. opposite side. Hands in prayer. Right elbow, left knee. Really feel that stretching the hips, opening, refreshing, bringing energy, circulation key into the areas of the body that are stagnant. and release, coming out of it. This time we're just going to bring the hands back to the front and step in point. Chaturanga, upward facing dog. Chaturanga, downward facing dog. And let's step the right foot through here. We're going to take the right arm up in a twist, come up all the way. Bringing the right hand down the left leg, twisting, lifting, lengthening, elongating, opening. And the left arm sweeps all the way to the front, revolving half moon. Both hands down, pose the left heel 10 times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Come up with a straight back and wrap the left leg around the right. Left arm under, right over and lengthen. Lots of twisting and coming on to ourselves here we do this <sighs> raveling and raveling and let's step it back into warrior one <sighs> exhale down plank chaturanga up dog, chaturanga, down dog, take the left leg through, high lunge. 
challenge. Left leg steps through, take the right arm up. In a twist, come up. And revolving half moon, right hand on the floor. Take the right heel as high as you can. Lift it, take the left arm up. Both hands down, let's pulse the right heel. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Straight back, come up to standing. Wrap the right leg around, right arm under, left over. Wrap around, sit back, soften the back of the shoulders, lift. And breathe. Unwrap, step it back in, warrior one. and plank. Chaturanga, upward dog. Chaturanga plank, right knee, duck. And let's do it again, knee duck. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight nine step it through drop the back heel down warrior one again step to the front wrap around one more time left arm on the right over wrap around sit back as you unwrap you're going to keep your arms wrapped just legs unwrapping warrior three Warrior one and lift overhead here. Softening. And release. Chaturanga, up dog. Chaturanga plank, left knee tucks in. And let's do nine more of those. One, two, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Step it through. Drop the back heel down. Warrior one. Soften the shoulders, relaxing the shoulders as we reach over the head. Stepping at the front. Wrap around, right arm under the left, lift, sit down and lift the elbows. As you unwrap the legs, go into warrior three with that arm wrap, level the hips, press through the heel, soften the back of the shoulders. Step it back in warrior one and lift. We're going to take a plank, step the right foot on the outside of the mat, to the right, facing right, and open the chest up, facing the right knee, facing the sky, and release, circular motions. Step it back, opposite side. Really feel the hip here, 
feel the opening, feel the fluidity. Feel the body all together change. Since the body and the mind, the soul and the body are one, feeling the body really lifts us con our consciousness towards the divine. Keep changing. Open. Shift. Plank. Shift. Plank. Shift. right and left and plank and chaturanga and upward dog and hold it and let's bring the knees onto the ground and we're gonna do crescent shapes with the spine so hands to the left hips to the left ribcage to the right feel that opposite side one more time feel it opposite side And back to center. Here we're going to lower the chest and the chin towards the floor. Something we've been doing in the roots yoga quite a bit. Booty up, legs of the floor, chin of the floor. Great. And up dog, chaturanga, plank. And we're gonna do something a little more on the core strong side. We're going to do right elbow to right knee and same on the other side. Now feel free to give a little twist to the hips or to try to be as steady as you can, which would be a little harder to just really, really have a, these two obsessed with me flies today. And usually I get a fly, but they never obsess over me, especially Sophie's here. They're really like cancer flow. I'm, I'm here to tell you something. <laughs> so I'm trying to just be completely <laughs> carefree and let them be, do their thing. But we're going to explore this in a strong or in a fluid way. They're both gonna be strong ways. So you can twist the hips and the spine into the movement. It's not wrong, such as this. Or you can try to really be steady. That is the little more yang variation, way harder physically. And you can do a combination of both. So let's go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, I'm starting the feminine, 13, 14, 15, really flex, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Take side plank on the left hand, left side. Reach over the head, opposite side. Again, I've never had an insect that interested in me. Interested in me. <laughs> I'm flattered. And opposite side. And 
let's change one more side one time right side knee tucks one two three four five six seven eight nine ten left side or left knee tuck left knee one two three four five six seven eight nine ten lower down onto your belly walk your feet to the left or to the right sorry hands to the right although it doesn't matter and lift just slightly here opposite side crescent and back to center and we're gonna bring the hands underneath the forehead take the right heel straight up left heel straight up right left alternating really squeezing the body one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen 19, 20, hands underneath the shoulders, press up, step the left foot through, warrior two directly. Reverse the warrior. Coming out. Half moon. Pressing into the inner edge of the left foot. directly reverse it and half moon Warrior two. Side angle. Hands on the ground. Pigeon. Right leg leading. Open the chest. Lengthen the spine. Lower down.
face the chest towards the knee. turning the chest towards the left. Here, take it at your own level. You can just sit between the heels, sit on the heels, lower down, lay down, whichever place here feels like a good stretch. back up and lifting up and coming on to all fours for a few organic movements here side to side feeling the spine feeling the physical form the integration of the soul into the physical this is really where it happens, the soul comes into the physical form in Cancer and also it allows us to, on our own journey as a soul, it allows us to feel the integration of the soul into the physical. There's no separation. Quieting the mind and gently moving. Feeling the divine intention in each movement. The divine light within the fabric of the physical. those following the patterns of movement that are there in the body rather than thinking of them removing the mind from the equation and following the patterns 
within the body. For longer sequences like this one, you can look into my somatic classes. I have quite a few of them. Quite a few, maybe a five-ish between the website and the YouTube channel. So continuously moving, finding the divine pattern of movement that's woven into the physical body, into the matter. From here, we're going to sit down onto the booty and bring the knees over to the left, hands behind you, and we're going to shift a few times, left to right. Extending the legs in front, forward fold. Open the legs. To reach to one side, over to the other, one more time, shifting like the ebb and flow of water, forward, Bring the chest over the left leg, over to the right. Back to center. Again, left knee to the right foot and we're going to bring the hands over to the right for a final full spinal twist untethering opposite side and coming up coming into a seated closing the eyes slowly shifting the awareness back to the body we have been aware of the body throughout the class so now really begin to see the body through your third eye so with your eyes closed you're still seeing your body seated here as if it's woven by light fabric you see the thread building it and it is made out of light. Each and every fiber is made out of light. And there is an element of fluidity within, even though it is light and there is fire and there is earth. There is also a lot of fluidity, water. And as you breathe, you flow from each moment to the next effortlessly, beautifully, without resistance, with ease, moving from one moment to the next flowing like water, moving like light, 
And again, through the third eye, observing yourself and beginning to see your emotion with neutrality as a bystander, allowing it to rise and subside, allowing it to be, to express itself without affecting you, just observing emotion now and in general your emotional body your emotions rising through the days through the circumstances in life and now seeing that emotion is built out of light the observer being built out of ether, fine matter, fine particles, high frequency, you reach out and grab that light emotion, emotion built out of light and lift it up into the domain of universal consciousness where it turns into intuition higher awareness, connection to the divine, to the higher consciousness. You allow your emotion to transform into intuition. And we breathe into the third eye. that transformed into the higher ethers, the higher spheres, into intuition. Grab them with your etheric body, with the hands of your etheric body, and bring them into your third eye. And see them absorb into your body. Become you. And now with the next breath, physicality, to the physical body, to the moment, to the floor, the way the floor feels beneath your bum. Without opening the eyes, imagine your room that you're in or the place that you're occupying, whether it's outside or indoors. Smiling held the hands over the head and exhale them over the third eye take a big breath in through the third eye one more time blink the eyes open sealing the benefits of the practice today let's bring the hands over the heart and let's bow to our hearts for their love 
generosity, compassion. And beauty. Namaste. I'll see you tomorrow with the new class on the website and which is the roots program and i'll see you next week with <laughs> with uh, the next class which should be leo and in leo we move from the community from the consciousness with the group and to coming into the awareness of cancer as part of the group we move into leo the individualization of the soul when I say Namaste, Sophie knows that it's the end and she can move on. I <laughs> had this crazy flies for today's class, so I'm going to think about it and see what that means because I have not had flies during the classes. Even if I've had one or two, they just gave up on me very quickly. So the, those did, did not give up. I almost gave up on the class, but we are here at the end. And thank you for um, joining me for this um, astrology series. Uh, in all seriousness i'll see you for leo and i'll see you for the rest of the classes as we move into the final uh, into the second half of astrology things are gonna get even more um, ephemeral even if now they seem a little ephemeral we'll get into the deeper meanings of um, of the archetypes really so i'll see you i'll see you next week thanks for joining me namaste mm -hmm.